It's been a week since that August 2nd deadline and International Towers tenants are still displaced from their homes without knowing when they can return. We broke on the 21 News app this morning that more than 50 tenants are involved in a lawsuit against the owners of the building and other groups involved with the explosion. Kaylin McCarthy spoke to the attorney representing the residents to see why they are taking legal action. Kaitlin. Derek and Madison, the attorney spoke to multiple residents who have been displaced and say they've been having a hard time adjusting to their lives away from home. For nearly two months, those living in International Towers have been forced out of their homes. Now, 52 residents are taking legal action. According to this complaint, the short evacuation notice left many International Tower residents with disruptions in their life. The complaint says many, if not all of the plaintiffs and residents, require daily medications, rely on their independent living quarters, and are used to maintaining daily routines and schedules. They've been taken out of their homes on short notice and put into a hotel room where they can't cook, where they can't, you know, they can't provide for themselves, they can't have the amenities that they had at the International Towers building. The complaint also states the building owners knowingly and neglectfully allowed an understaffed, undertrained, and unsupervised crew to perform the inherently unreasonably dangerous work. People are being damaged, people are harmed, people are suffering, people are having a really, really hard time with this. And knowing what I know about these types of gas explosions, this should not have happened. Enbridge Gas Ohio, one of several defendants, issued a statement saying they do not comment on ongoing litigation. Yo Properties and Live Youngstown have declined to comment. With more local news, I'm Caitlin McCarthy.